my calling card uh, is my career and my ability on the ice and that's I mean that's what I love to do and kind of is what I'm best known for I suppose Josh Morrissey with a second of the night it's nice to kind of have some opportunities where like this where you can kind of shed a little bit more on your interests or personality for for the fans sake I, I feel I'm always being asked that by by fans in the community. You and I have been talking about sitting down for a little while now, and I said, I don't want to talk to you about hockey. I don't want to talk to you about your game. We get asked about that all the time. And you said that you love the idea about discussing something other than what was happening on the ice. So how would you describe yourself? I feel I'm a pretty, pretty genuine guy. Um, you know, I try and be that way in the media as well and just kind of be myself. Uh, you know, I remember going through the draft process and stuff like that, and you know, uh, some of the best advice I had was just kind of be, be yourself and a team that drafts you is going to draft you for the person you are and not um, the guy you were pretending to be uh, that you thought they might best like. Uh, I'd rather be authentic, so that's something that I try to do and, uh, you know, outside of that, um, I don't know, I guess. What do you like to do that. when you're not on the ice, when you're not talking hockey or watching hockey? You know, golf in the summers, I know you that's don't boring. <laughs> Everyone, every hockey guy. Every does, hockey uh, guy loves golf. Um, outside of that, uh, music, fashion, um, you know, I love cars, um, you know, certainly uh, stuff like that. Growing up, I was really into watches and, and all that, and I still am. And you mentioned fashion, and that's certainly something that you've become even more known for over the last couple of years. The pink suit last year certainly got a lot of attention on the All-Star red carpet. How do you top that this year? Do you try to? <laughs> you know, I was a little nervous wearing the pink suit at first, but um, you know, it turned out uh, most people really liked it, I think. Everyone has a different relationship with, uh, with fashion and clothes. Some people couldn't care less. Some people really enjoy it. Uh, for me, I, what I always have enjoyed is, you know, you put on a suit or a, um, you dress a certain way you know, it almost makes you feel a certain way. Mm -hmm. Maybe it instills a little bit of confidence or, you know, inspires, inspires you to, to, to feel good about yourself. One of the things that I love is that you have taken that love that you have for fashion. You've also used it good as well. I mean, we've seen you, you auctioned off your jacket from a couple of years ago that you had designed for the Canadian Cancer Society in memory of your father. When you look at the work that you're doing in the community now and giving back for it, what are some different areas that in your mind you know, are priorities for you? For sure, I mean, that was a great uh, special project on that suit jacket mm. for sure. Um, you know, it was the first season after I lost my dad and uh, you know, he was kind of who introduced me into like the suit world of fashion. He was a uh, wearing a suit to work every day and so some of my first suits I guess my draft suit and stuff like that you know we went and got together and so I felt it was really fitting to do something like that and putting on the jacket and wearing that jacket really made me feel kind of like he was with me it gave me a, a level of confidence and in terms of the charities in the community I mean from the time I've come here to Winnipeg I've always tried to be you know active in the community I think it's kind of a responsibility as an NHL player and uh, especially in a Canadian market and city like this where, um, you know, we do have a platform as, as Jets and, um, you know, I feel that through my, I guess, eight years of being involved in the True North Youth Foundation and uh, obviously the Dream Factory. A Dream Factory ambassador since 2016, Josh takes his role with the charity seriously. In his annual golf tournament, the Josh Morrissey Classic has now raised almost $900,000, with the money going towards helping make dreams come true for kids battling life-threatening illnesses here in Manitoba. Nice. Awesome. Can I get a high five, Oats? Can you give Can you give Josh a high five? Why don't you want me? Do you want to give him a worm high five? A worm high five? Oh, that looks good. I might take it from you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. 
part of that uh, organization and uh, I've learned a lot personally and um, you know had the chance to meet some amazing kids and their families and, and that's really what uh, what it's all about. It puts life into perspective, puts a bad game, a tough loss into perspective, that's for sure. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's special to me. All right, with that being said, final question for you. What is the most memorable we fan encounter that you have had here in Winnipeg? Because I can only imagine how many you have had and you mentioned a lot of people we'd be very excited to meet you. You know how passionate this fan group is. I've been asked to sign an autograph in a few interesting places, um, which was a bit of a shock, but uh, I guess a good story. <laughs> and then outside of that, uh, it's funny, I, I find whenever you meet uh, sort of middle-aged guys, uh, you know, they're huge Jets fans. Um, there's more often than not, I don't know if it's like, they don't want to say they're a huge fan, so they always lead with like, oh, like my wife's a huge fan. Um, but they're the ones wanting the autographs and photos and stuff. So I think it's just maybe the way to be cool in that moment. But uh, or maybe it's true. I don't know. So it's always fun meeting Jets fans and uh, yeah, just having fun with it. Uh, I'm sure that uh, you'll be needing a few more after <laughs> this one as well. We'll follow up with you in the not so distant future. Thanks so much for spending a little bit of time with me here today, Josh. Thanks, sir.